by Marsha Dunn the Associated Press Cape Canaveral, Florida, for the first time in 20 years, a Russian cosmonaut rocketed from the U.S. on Wednesday, launching to the International Space Station alongside NASA and Japanese astronauts despite tensions over the war in Ukraine. Their flight, powered by Hawthorne-based SpaceX, was delayed by Hurricane Ian, which ripped across the state last week. I hope with this launch we will brighten up the skies over Florida a little bit for everyone," said the Japan Space Agency's Koichi Wakata, who is making his fifth space flight. Joining him on a five-month mission are three new to space, Marine Colonel Nicole Mann, the first Native American woman bound for orbit, Navy Captain Josh Quesada and Russia's lone female cosmonaut, Anna Kikina. They're due to arrive at the space station Thursday, 29 hours after departing NASA's Kennedy Space Center, and won't be back on Earth until March. They're replacing a U. Italian crew that arrived in April. Russia's lone female cosmonaut, Anna Kikina, is the Russian Space Agency's exchange for NASA's Frank Rubio, who launched to the space station two weeks ago from Kazakhstan aboard a Soyuz rocket. He flew up with two cosmonauts. The space agencies agreed over the summer to swap seats on their flights in order to ensure a continuous U and Russian presence aboard the 260-mile-high, 420-kilometer-high, outpost. The barter was authorized even as global hostilities mounted over Russia's invasion of Ukraine in late February. The next crew exchange is in the spring. Shortly before liftoff, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said that the key reason for the seat exchange is safety, in case an emergency forces one capsule's crew home, there would still be an American and Russian on board. In the meantime, Russia remains committed to the space station through at least 2024, Russia space official Sergei Krikalev assured reporters this week. Russia wants to build its own station in orbit later this decade, but we know that it's not going to happen very quick and so probably we will keep flying with NASA until then, he said. Beginning with Krikalev in 1994, NASA started flying cosmonauts on its space shuttles, first to Russia's Mir space station and then to the fledgling space station, 